That guy has the Ron map. Hold on. Gonna let him stay down there dead. As he falls into the ocean. Hmm. Uh, yeah, who the hell's me? Gotcha. Or is it just a bunch of motherfuckers uh, with guns? Be our squad lead, but he's Thank you. Okay, so choose someone more reliable then. Alright. So even though I told them they shouldn't bring armor, they're gonna bring armor anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk from... Okay, that's gonna be a long-ass drive for him. stop at will be squad lead, unless someone wants to volunteer. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, he's he's not gonna he's not stable. He's never been stable. He's not gonna pick a good squad if he disconnects every three minutes. I'm gonna choose someone else. Okay, go get along with him. Nope, nope. If you don't like how it's done, do it yourself. I'm a medic, mate. You say anything? I got an You know, you can you get to choose what slot you join. Last I checked. It was a case of me going medical. You had to medic for the entire op. Yeah. I love how these guys bicker about who steps up, and yet they don't have the balls to step up themselves, so they got no room to complain. But that's just me personally. So we're gonna have quite a few pilots on as well, which is good. Which is good. I hope Armor does realize if they come within a certain spot on the left flank, they're gonna get fucked by a BMD. But that's just my, uh, none of my business. We haven't really quote unquote started yet. I'm just kinda blasting music, letting things go. I'll get my introduction after. Just as every cop is a criminal, and all the sinners saints, it's heads or tails, just call me Lucifer, cause I'm in need of some restraints. Um, so, uh, C-Spans, yeah, you're doing good. So we're gonna it's like watching um, rats in a maze. Oh yeah, and then this guy. Nope. I thought I saw the end of this face like months ago, but no, he's still got the freaking operator chan face Maybe on him. Blow these trucks up or save them. Or whatever, the artillery piece, and I didn't hear that part. Uh, Roger, so there's one NATO artillery piece in the AO you're supposed to blow up, and then one HVT with a red beret you're supposed to kill, and he drives around the only UAZ open in the AO, so that'll tell you what compound he's in. Uh, you guys are going with C-SPANs. Uh, Murky, Gib, and Sight, you guys are going with uh, you each, each, uh, That's all you have to do in the AO, but you can stick around and clear it out if you really want to. I don't care. But yeah, I put down what the heck we'll get into there, but... Cool. Cool. The air intel is updated on that. Don't let me do that. Alright. Armor to ground command. Let's get started with the actual shit here. Send it. Copy, what was the staging point you wanted us to wait at? Anyway guys, uh, what is up? Lear the Lance Corporal here. Today we have a large operation. I've given them a shit ton of different choppers here. Looks like they're gonna play around with the AGM bird today. Here, what's the transport situation look like? Otherwise, I already took out a hammer here, which is a panther. to take you in on, so it just depends on when you guys are fucking ready. But again, my concern is as the plan stands, we're this thing's gonna murder them. Because I've got guys overwatching the AO. 
Um, we're gonna have a quite, quite the walk to get into the AR, so you guys have you guys have time to come back and refit if you need to. Sixty. Sixty. Exactly. They're gonna go around like this, and then assault from the northern side, circumventing that. I don't have my shit. Grab command the armor. Mark that as an AA APC. That doesn't go ahead. make sense. Uh, did you guys? Uh, how much ammo do you have for your your guns? Armor has uh, about fucking 2,500 rounds of uh, M2. Yeah, you do. And about 500 GMG. Solid. All right, so to give you guys the rundown of the AO, um, they have two operations today. The first other pilots. is to take out a Socor, which I have hidden under this camo net, kind of out to the side, uh, towards the southern side of this massive AO. Uh, a throw-off point is up here on the hills. I have three artillery pieces and a large battery uh, that just kind of has its own defensive positioning uh, to the only open area to come in on. Uh, but they can also come up right here to uh, jump it on this side. I don't have anything defending that sector. Uh, the other objective is over here with the open UAZ, because uh, near him is going to be a guy wearing a red beret. They just have to kill him, too, and I might try to move him from position to position to, um, you know, drive him off, but then air should probably schwack him. Uh, around the AO, I also have a lot of other points of interest to kind of throw him off from, uh, armor positions to local positions like that. Okay, I'm done competing for volume here. Hold on. Um, what are you, Grandier? No, I'm a machine gunner. Oh, okay. Um, no. Okay. So we can stop listening to them. They're still organizing themselves, as you heard, but, uh... AO1, AO2, they're pretty relatively close to each other, but around, I've got a lot of different positions of interests, uh, looking at a bunch of different flanks here. AA, armor... Not too much armor in this AO, more so it's, uh, placed in very strategic locations here. Hey, Lo, thank you for the bits, but, uh... All around, you know, I've got some mobile patrols, I have an MI-24 stashed away... More or less just, um, you know, a lot of different spots where there's some, uh, you know, key positions, especially uh, AA and, uh, other support. And then up here I've got, um, you know, some hostages, now. but they're not mission relevant here. I told them if they want, they can clear out the rest of the AO, but, you know, that's just something secondary in case they want to do it. And then I've got a bunch of civs here. Because I figured when marking this AO after I finished, uh, this could be like a point of interest. And sure enough, they actually marked that on the map with a question mark and then checked it with the drone. They think there's both uh, civs and enemies here. So, I mean, I did try to, I used Urals and um, UAZs to like, you know, model the enemy faction to try to throw them off here. But it's just a bunch of civ workers working on a construction project. So I think I did well with that. Otherwise, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how this AO plays, and looks like the armor piece has gotten to the LZ. Could have just taken a squad of infantry with them, to be perfectly honest. But this was meant to be um, kind of like an airborne assault sort of AO. They land behind one of these massive mountains to circumvent my AA, and then the infantry just kind of slowly push okay, in whenever the squad, whenever and make their tactics on the fly. The, uh, Chinook and Black Hawk. Uh, you'll see the fucking logos on them. Uh, negative. Uh, we're not mission up. We're in two Blackhawks. I Black meant Hawks. the two Blackhawks, but yeah. Just uh, happened to my way, Twitch page. Got one guy joining. Uh, solid. All right, internets. Why uh, why you glitching out on me? Alright, that's the AO more or less. We've got almost 30 guys that are going to do this operation, so they'll have two to three squads and a shit ton of air support. And for some reason they have a vehicle, uh, which I'm going to be perfectly honest with the amount of AT I have down on the AO in the form of a shoulder fire. 
it's not going to be too useful. Furthermore, in this terrain where it's going to be traveling a lot, especially in uphill circumstance uh, situations, excuse me, uh, it's not going to be favorable. And I do have defensive emplacements that are going to, uh, you know, fuck them up. <laughs> Yeah, LZ Hamburger, though. That's probably the most retarded a uh, freaking landing zone they could make. But that's definitely right. closest to the actual operation. Like, you know, the actual where the objectives are themselves. But what I'm also trying to do is keep tabs on what they're marking here. So they know there's shit up there. They haven't checked this as a POI yet. I do have a defensive position right here with... um a BMD-2 and a two-man patrol going around these uh, windmills. Over here, they circled uh, this. In one of these complexes, I do have a bunch of goats, some infantry, and a shilka. Uh, this is a large enemy compound. That's the main compound with the fuel. Uh, they've got this area marked. I do have an enemy position right here. They have that marked with an AA APC for some weird reason. And I've got a few other positions kind of buried around. So, we'll just have to see how things go. So the Apache is taking off. Uh, from the looks of it, they took the AGM Apache. So it has 16 AGMs. This is the other one with uh, 8 AGMs and 32 DAR rockets. Both can be uh, guided in via lays. So Habardicus, I also know, is a drone operator. So they're going to go in to get positioned somewhere. But also, let me uh, show you guys something which we're going to be really experimenting with today. This is the global skill for today. 100, 80, 75, 100. Basically mimicking what we tried last week in the uh, IRA AO. We did much more to the south forget what the specific town was, but, uh, oh yeah, it was way farther down here. Uh, Chris, I don't know. I, I didn't see any air. It just said you disconnected. Hmm. Otherwise, Squad 1 and Squad 2 are getting into Blackhawks, and I think the pilots are then gonna switch out and get in some sort of, um... I think one crew's gonna stay in a Blackhawk, and the other one's going to stay and, uh... get something else. So one's starting to take off. See the other one take off momentarily. See the thing is this AO isn't really favoriting armor. Because armor would have a really tough time moving around in mountainous terrain, which is exactly what they're fighting in today. Armor, we're outbound from base now. Is same to you. High command, we're outbound from base. Solid. Good luck and have fun. All call signs out. All right, and the game begins. I think they're all going to go to the same LZ. They're going to choose LZ Hot Dog. They've got a Pogo waiting with the Panther to give some small fire support. But if they were to accurately recon this AO and hit it from the south, they would avoid a lot of the static defensive positions I've put down. They'd have a bit more transit time, but especially with all these patrols I put down to try to find them... No, it'd be, uh, be better. Tootie, uh, Nemesis just said over side that he's streaming. If you could pick him up in a multi-twitch link. Tootie, I did think about putting Cormit positions down, but then I thought those are, um, like, single static positions are harder for air to hit compared to actual, like, you know, BMDs and whatnot. And they've got a Metis launcher, and if you put their freaking spotting skill up to 100, it'll still give the same result, so... You know. Uh, sure. Uh, Good uh, enough. We're going into uh, LZ Hot Dog. We're going to land there, link up with our armor that left out before us. We're going to go um, 
uh, east into the AO with the objective of uh, killing a um, Scorcher FPG and killing a commander. Yep, so they found the Socor position. Commander open top UAZ, uh, and we got to kill him, and then we'll leave. But they haven't PID'd. Uh, have some serious chaos going on. Uh, we're also going to have uh, some enemy compound with the, the, the open UAZ. The APC is, so we'll be okay. Hey, you found? Are you my squad right now? Yeah, solid. Make sure they use their Mark One eyeballs to check the map. Because what my plan is, they could airstrike the Socor. And then they could PID this compound and airstrike the main building, but they're still going to need someone to go in there to PI or confirm the kill. So, no matter what, some sort of infantry group needs to get to the center of the AO. And there's, again, a specific reason why I ch uh, chose that compound to house him. But, you know, if they airstrike it, then all the AA Vicks I have around are going to come towards him. But, uh, anyway, there's the, uh, the Skilka. Shilka, whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> But we'll have to see how things go. So, and Biggie's taking a bit of a war light, ah, wider burst. Sniper Wolf's already coming in. The Tier 5s are flying today. That's how you know this is going to be an interesting operation. Because they're putting their expertise in their fire support. As well as their uh, transfer of uh, both, you know, the first wave of infantry and reinserts. Oh, that's fine, Crafton. Hope you enjoy the watch, then. First infantry team is dismounted. They're pulling a good 360. Some of them stacking up on the wall. Other half are dismounting over there, making sure everything's good. And Ambiguous is also starting to slowly come in. Again, taking a wide berth, staying behind the mountain. Because my AA is not going to fuck around tonight. To show you guys the sheer extent at both of these positions where I've got the BMD-2, I have a AAA ZSU cannon. Uh, the other one is up here. I've got a Shilka over here for more AAA. And then over here I like to call my AA nest. I've got three man pads providing a perfect 360 of cover. And then I have one additional one over the main compound. And I don't even remember where I put them, but I think there's three different two-man infantry teams that also have shoulder fire iglas. So, yeah, like, I I have made sure that if Air makes a mistake and gets so, way too close to my AO, they're going to pay for it. And whether or not they're able to evade it or not is anyone's guess. But the AAA is going to be more of a threat for that if they get too close. So that should be their number one priority. Let's watch these guys get out. So area's already clear. Some of them getting down. Some of them moving up to the wall. That's fair. And then there's one more position I have for AAA, which is over here. It's a mobile piece, but she's kind of boxed in, so I don't have any plans on moving her. Only under emergencies, I'm going to break the camo net and drive her out, and that's also where the hostages are, so we'll see. Now, I'm going to move myself over here, and with these mountains, there's also going to create an issue of radios. If you already hear how staticky it is. So if they have Habardicus over here, who is very far from my AO, definitely further than two clicks. About three and a half, good on him. He's not going to be detected by anything. But it was funny, um, the ground command was trying to lecture people about how Liru AA works, and it's like, no matter what happens, I'll be, like, shooting choppers down. And I thought that was so funny to listen to, because the only reason he's ever been shot down was when he flew, uh, we were doing a GOSL RAIC op, and he flew so close to the AO that I could remote control a guy, look up, and I could see him. So one of them just, you know held up their igla and fired at him and shot him down because he was within 1.5 clicks of the damn ao it was it was funny <laughs> it was very funny
Ha. Well, they pissed my chopper off. Look, I get it. You're kind of mad, but can you go back and land, please? Or are you hunting? There you go. <laughs> yeah, I think he got aggroed from the chopper, so I'm just going to have him go back, because uh, this compound hasn't even been looked at yet. Hopefully he'll land without blowing himself up, but, you know. Is anyone's guess. So are they going to actually climb this mountain? Oh my god. Why? That just makes it more likely that they're going to get spotted. Hey, they should really just go around because they have a drone up. Just have the drone do it. That's That thing can get higher than the damn mountain to look at targets. Yeah, if I were to have an LZ, I'd probably choose behind one of these mountains too. I would, uh... I think I would have, thinking that compound, seen all those thermals, I would have actually gone over here and hugged the top of the map and then did a bottom insert like this. But, I mean, that's granted I'd be able to PID this compound because I'd hit the HVT first because an HVT fleeing is a lot uh, easier to deal with first than a Socor that's probably going to stay static. Then I'd hit the Socor and then I'd leave with air covering me. And then we just have a stealth element of, you know, we'd be coming from the north of the AO without provoking anything. But these guys, it looks like they're going to try to slog it out. They're going to assault from the western flank, cut through the sieves, possibly get hit by my uh, static position of a BMD there in the uh, AAA. And then possibly, you know, have reinforcements come on to fight them. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hey, Grizz, what up? Drone just got shot down. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but there was a small explosion. And I have no idea what that was. I'm looking at all the planes right now. Looking at all the land vehicles. I don't think that was directed at any of the helicopters. I think that was AA engaging this drone. I think that might have been a man pad firing. Checking ammo counts here. Because I want to know what shot it. This puppy's gun point, uh, it's pointed to the left at that drone. I don't see any ammo use, though. Something shot it down, though. Maybe the Shilka. It's the Shilka. Definitely the Shilka. So I'm going to bring in three squads from the north. Going to follow my rules of engagement policy I have for this AO that I wrote up. We're going to make them nationalist militia. Three squads of mixed infantry. And once we confirm what that thing is... Uh, ground to Alpha. Uh, don't don't stay on the top of the hill for too long. Don't skyline. Uh, minimize your minimize your time on the top of the hill. Keep moving towards the town. Then I'm going to also bring in a BTR or two and right. have them maneuver from. It's the opposite direction of them, so it's going to be from this side. Uh, ground to. And they're going to come up to defend the Socor. 
a pair of BTR 70s because their drone was hit. We don't know what it was, but the fact that we had a fire within our AO provokes the infantry, and when we confirm it's a NATO piece, then, yeah. All right, first guy walked past it. It's hard to see with the grass, but we're within the search area, so we're going to go check it out. So these two 70s from this route, it should cut over like this. And then they'll set up a defensive position there, all right. This is Alfred Command, be advised, uh, one of my team is checking the building, uh, near the hilltop, so Mr. Mishra, no one's inside. Solid. Uh, once you check those two buildings near the line, just continue pushing, or continue on. So we can hear their, uh, their local comms now. The drone scouting of this area did not reveal anything, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to check the areas closest to us. You're on a, go on channel 60, Tactics. you're on a blue, you're on red seat now. Tactics. Stop the thinking, red team's on channel 62. Weird, because Pockets put you in blue, and the thing is, is Pockets knows why I'm experienced, and he knows about you and Az. And now I need to get a four-man team over. For a dedicated patrol. It's now we've ended up with into the AO itself. So I'm right here and I can hear him. Which one of you idiots needs an ace heal? Oh god. Who was it broke the bones again? Vince was it you? Just Vince they broke his bones through the building. Stairs, if he does it again, this is his second time. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> hey, Devinza, this is one of you again. You have to heal. I always find it funny how they walk up to me and they just decide to camp right next to me. And I know it's it's literally luck of the draw, and I always uh, find that funny. Medics watching the hill. All right. Can you change your Twitch name? I don't know. Hello, are you still there? I probably wouldn't. I like being me. <laughs> you don't like yours? I don't know. You might. That might be something to uh, talk to Twitch support about. I. I don't know. Frost isn't loading. SAF. Dum dum. Did they leave the panther? Uh, no, the panther is still over here. Staying on the left behind the hill. Out of the angle of the BMD. Well, it could still get in range, but it's up to the spotting mechanic. It's up for the AI to play AI, but 100% spotting is pretty good. So we'll have to see. Let me know when you're moving out. So I do know there's a few infantry that are joining last minute. Frost and Gibb, they're going to need to be reinserted. Kristoffer's also here. I think they're talking about the Comanche or something. Sniper Wolf is prepping his plane. I think because he's going to pick up Gibb and Frost and move him into the AO. Otherwise, yeah, the little birds are kind of traps, to be perfectly honest. Except for, you know, if you need extra uh, dagger rockets or AGMs, then you could plop one up. But they cannot really... <sighs> With all the AA I have down, it would be very difficult to fly a little bird. Still possible. I've seen crazy people do it before, but <clears throat> be unwise. Why did Gib crash? Well, Andrews is running off on his own over here, so.
Have fun with that. Alright, so they've broken off into two routes from the looks of it. They're going to check this out, and then they're going to assault this position head on. Oh, that's gonna... <laughs> from this angle, they're going to assault this APC. Alright, let me... What was that? These guys are guns up. One of them's crippled. Or no, he's walking slow. Is the AA firing? Because I thought I heard something get launched. Hmm. You guys move a bit quicker? No, it's because you're heading uphill, that's why. So it's going to take them a while. I'm just trying to listen in to see if I hear anything, because if, you know, if I hear something starting to get engaged, I need to know about it. Yeah. Something's... That's what they're doing. They're trying to airstrike the Socor. But they're too far out, so I think the uh, rockets are demoing before they even land in the AO. What? Did Granite just jump out? Um, okay. Is he gonna pull a shoot? Or is he just gonna... Oh, he didn't even have a, a shoot. He just, uh... That was, um... Habarticus, this is High Command. Do you copy? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just, um... Good job, kiddo. But anyway, as I've been trying to point out, we're going to quickly... Here's the gunner seat. Hi, Command. JTAC, be advised, air is on uh, channel 78.9. Roger, JTAC, this is uh, High Command. Can you relay to Habarticus and ask him if his, uh, if his chopper's okay? Yeah, he's RTB to pick Granite up, I think, because he jumped out of the fucking... Which is glorious. Wow, these two BTRs are cutting by. So what's that is J-tacking? That is interesting. It looks like the explosions have made some of the AO rile up. So I'm going to try to have some of these AI get in their VIX and drive away, but it looks like some of them are just being retarded. That means now, you dumb fuck. Uh, ground to Alpha? There's Alpha's in traffic. 
Yeah, so Hop took a wide uh, perth. He's gonna pick the Crit. Waypoint one and the, uh, the first That's down, not uh, good that their cat, enemies. that their freaking uh, air support is now. Uh, you guys can just double time it down to that town. Um, away. Don't shoot anyone in that town. They appear to be all civilian. Uh, your ROE is to only fire when fired upon. Uh, leave them alone as best you can and continue pushing to your first objective, which is the uh, AA piece on top of the hill. Quickly fucking fix them. Ah, oh, get up, you idiots. Freaking morons. So, so far, um, the infantry are probably gonna walk uh, into a kill zone. Command, high command. This is high command, send traffic. Uh, the enemy, uh, how effective is their supply chain? Are they gonna have a lot of, uh, vehicles and garbage? Uh, Roger, that is... reinforcements? That's the other part. Roger, uh, for the first one, that is unknown at this time. Uh, we're gonna have to ask Recon to fill in the gaps there. And as for reinforcements, uh, enemy reinforcements are expected to come from the north, if any. Uh, at least for infantry, vehicles are unknown. It's mountainous, though, so I wouldn't expect too many vehicle reinforcements, but still entirely possible. Yes, sir. Now people start driving off. Oh, and you're, you're fucking prone, too, you fucking half-happy retard. Come on. Okay, uh, this is off the ground command. Can you say again about, can you say again last about the town in front of us? Solid. Do not engage contacts unless you're fired upon. Just go ahead and go past it. Continue on your objective towards OBJ-1. Uh, I was sniper. I thought I heard sniper rolls voice. Yeah, he just landed the, uh, reinserts right there. And he's also in this bird with another pilot to do casts uh, from a UH-60 armed with a dagger and uh, AGM. Hmm. On the way. I'm going to send that Vic down there. I don't think I actually just sent the Vic down there. I think I... No, I did. This is off the ground, uh, asking for the criteria, are we doing pass it, or going through it? Uh, however you see fit, you should be fine to go through it. Um, it, they, they're, they're just a bunch of civs, they probably won't hurt you. Um, and it's the best cover to clear that field, so I would recommend going through it. Eva. Uh, just don't go into the big uh, construction building if you can avoid it. They uh, that that seems to be their place, uh, and we don't really want to uh, mess with them in there. Let's get that truck to move out, and we're good. Why not just use friendly AI and civilian clothing? What? You mean for civs? Because the frickin' gun position would murder them, and I don't want there to be any green fora versus civilian violence. Also, because that's longer to set up, and thus annoying. Let that guy run over. Yeah, vehicles drove out because they don't want to deal with this shit. So I'll delete them because they're not relevant anymore. BTRs are starting to come in too, so they'll set up defensive positioning along that. I have my three squads here ready to move out if need be. So which one's the guy on top right here? The gunner, right? I 
Oh yeah, I can I can even fucking see him. So my goal with this is to force air to strike my position to get things going. I don't want to try to kill him off per se, but once we see him moving in that field down there, when they're closer, that's probably when I'll start engaging. Because if I were to uh, turn in real quick, how low can my gun go? Yeah, my gun can go right in there, so... That is preferred. Yeah, I can definitely see him moving in. Are they still trying to strike that fucking position? I'm gonna... Where... Chopper, get up. Go find out what the fuck's going on. Because seriously, we've been having frickin' ordnance going off left, right, and center over here. Hard to make the AI freak out over this. Radio is going to be going crazy. Fire at will. Got one more uh, girl for you if you want. Uh, hit it with a dagger. Uh, ground Alpha, just let to, just let you guys know we uh, we've hit um, the enemy compound on the top of the hill um, with uh, a few hellfires, so the enemy will it knows we're coming. So I think they noticed. Because now I have a 24 looking around. Check over in those mountains. is after the ground command, uh, we see a fucking MR-24 uh, southwest of our location, uh, hovering low. Uh, uh, solid. These uh, looks like they're going up to combat our air units, uh, so we're going to have some sick heli fights going on. Uh, continue your objective. <laughs> some sick heli fights. Uh, armor, see if you can get a beat on that with your 50. Uh, yeah, so they're the pulling back. Than you are, so try to draw its aggro. <laughs> Never mind, continue on your objective armor, it's behind the hill. So I think he's gonna follow that radar contact. Now I'm watching these guys. But yeah, they, they struck at this, so I'm sending something after them. If they follow, they follow, otherwise he might just stick around the hill. But we are on high fucking alert right now. I'll be honest, I don't know why they struck this position. Um, yeah, three times D-30s, but they're facing south, so it wasn't really a threat to where they're operating right now. So, this just kind of provoked me without really needing to provoke me, per se. So, I have a lot of my infantry pulling off the AO. I'm keeping some guys up here. Some of them are deciding to stay so on and so forth and this guy now is actually gonna by default be looking over on the right for any threats so what i'd like to do 
since I see people moving around there now, because this is my Overwatch. We got uh, Gunner has eyes on uh, AA, AA, AA PC on the hill. Uh, that's still active. Uh, are you, you sure it's still active? Turret moved. Oh, Roger, so they air, tried to... Air has called it Shracked, and they were uh, posted up on this hill shooting at it, or firing it, so I doubt that it's still up, but you're, oh, you're clear sorry. open fire on it Correction, with 40 mic mics. BMP. Well, see, there you go. That, that's a much more important... Yeah, you, you're clear to fire on it either way. Uh, neutralize whenever you need to. It's like shooting womp rats, eh, kid? This uh, is man with me, engaged by an EBMP on top of the hill. I got hit with something just as I'm looking at him. Yeah, solid on that. We're trying to get air in here, but with that, uh, with that hind uh, be bopping around, we're gonna have trouble. See what you guys can do with it. Um, if you got, There's, they're money, not gonna be able to do shit about this. We're gonna engage it. If I'm in trees, I'm not gonna hit that. Like we don't drop lines or something like that, so it's hard to hit. Yeah, GMGs are gonna tickle me. Then just chill for a minute. Uh, lick your wounds. Get your boys ready to roll. Ow. I think they're hitting me with daggers instead of AGMs. We have to play the waiting game until Air can take out this MI-24. The terrorists have a super hind. It was not something we planned for. It was in the AO. Another miss. Not effective. I'm trying to see where they're hitting me from those rockets because it's just not doing anything. So I don't know. This is off of the ground B5, so we don't have the weapon capable of taking off the enemy threat. Uh, we need the armor to take it off for us. It's solid. Uh, where, do you know have a specific position on that BMP? Is it up at the, uh, I see him crawling, but he's under the level of my gun, so I can't hit him. And I wouldn't anyway, because he's prone. I mean, everything was down for recon. The fact that they went in the path of this guy is... You know, they're doing. Bro, I see you. Get back behind the fence. Uh, ground to Alpha, how copy? This Alpha is in traffic. Solid. If you're able, you might be able to divert north into the shadow of the mountain and uh, in a close distance with it. This is definitely going to require uh, some people to reinsert via chopper. Uh, you could also load up, load up in your IFV boys, uh, in your armor, and transport your teams one at a time to that uh, uh, to the shadow of the mountain, using the APC to uh, to carry you. Hey, fun. What's going on? Uh, infantry went into a kill zone. Uh, they struck one of my positions, so I suck my 24 on their air assets. So I'm freaking him out. I'm gonna get out of him real quick. I'm concerned that the right track's gonna make him jump out. Do you want to just recover the casualties or just leave them? Uh, we're gonna have to. We need the boys, so we can't exactly just oh, leave them. Fucking retard. Stay in the Vic. Then we need the armor. Take out the enemy. Weapons shoot at us. 
Just the, the, the Ooh, that one went over my face. It's not really armor. It's more of an IFV. Yeah, an IFV, an infantry fighting vehicle. That's what Cast was for, but there's an MI24 and this bunch of ta tacky fucks who have it. So we're we're at a loss here. Jesus, this chopper is twitchy. See if it's, it's uh, east of you. See if you can kill it with the 50. So your fucking self-defense 50. We're gonna have to try to kill it. I don't know who it fired at then. Alright, uh, that position yeah. just got hit. Down. Sweet, now we just have to deal with the hind. The infantry start moving, armor try to deal with the hind. Uh, make yourself scarce infantry, pop them with the smoke and leave uh, while you have the chance. Send my and infantry also, if you in. See Frost shoot him, he's deserting. <laughs> Frost is deserting, apparently. That's cute. There Good goes hits. the 24. Solid. All forces continue on your uh, last objective. If you need to lick your wounds, now's your chance. Uh, let's see. Uh, ground command to air. Get these guys down so they're like panicking. I hear that weapon jam from here. You should be running away from the gunfight, not to it. And at least get down. Alright, and then they also look like they tried to hit that position, but it was ineffective. Let's see, suppressive fire, I'm gonna start training my artillery on him. Because they are in a bad place. Chrome, Jita, being engaged by. Come on, AI, freak out, be spooked. Roger, do you require cast support this time? Alright, shells are flying. Got a few guys at base. GMGs are being sent out. I'm sending an infantry squad. <coughs> prepping these other two to be ready to go and I'm gonna put this one up here on standby because I need to start locking down this area Roger that. I'm gonna say all the guys are still up here I'm gonna kill them off say they died in the uh, strikes but let's see I'm gonna have this guy Come over here and be a spotter for my mortars to get more accurate data since my infantry on the ground just got schwacked. It looks like Frost is being engaged by the Panther because he's run out on his own. So that's creating a PID incident. Uh, ground, uh, this, or Alpha, this is ground. I want you guys to pick up all your casualties and throw them into the fucking Pantar. You guys need to get out of there. The mortars were dropping in your That's position. Well, you need to... Uh, yeah, don't do that. Just try to get your team leaders to get them to move. Now 
Now, I'd like to set these guys up in a line. Have them face up there. I'm trying to listen to what that Apache's firing at, but it looks like they're taking out that entire position. Or that's cook off from the rounds. So, now that... This guy's done. Watch this. Arsenal... I'm going to add an entrenching tool. To his thingamajig. So we're going to give him a light coyote backpack here. Going to remote him. Why are you idiots still running? This is up of the command. Do you want to keep flying the blinds? Just repeat what is here. I, I told you idiots to stop. You're provoking on the choppers, aren't you? Uh, dumbasses. Yeah, they said he was deserting, but he's still going on route, so I don't know. Now that the trench is built, I'm going to... Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with that bullshit, so... Having these AI come back here, I'm going to set them around. Alright, and then where's the other two I just had come over? Those are those two idiots. Here they are. Uh, Docker, go ahead and peel back to the uh, the west one compound, or or push up to the shadow of the mountain. You're Are we having fun yet? Uh, eh, more or less. I want you guys to continue <laughs> licking your wounds and report back when you're ready. Uh, Looked like he was shooting at AI, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> this is off the ground. Say again, last. This is off the ground. Say again, last. Yeah, so I want you guys, just let me know when you're ready to move. That's what I need from you, KTD. Get your boys ready to move. That's so I'm going to dig this small one, then Where have the these NPC guys come in remote. From? Does anyone know? Send in Goat Team 6 now. Joey, thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I hope you are enjoying today's operations, and I hope you keep enjoying them in particular, Alpha, my friend. Where are you being engaged? Uh, unknown. No one's reporting anything. Yeah, I don't think they're being. They shouldn't be being engaged right now. It's not KTD squad. That's one straggler. Frost is currently engaging him. So I'm gonna give this guy some binox. Solid. I want you to take the blue line up to objective one. Nice touch. And we're gonna say he's gonna use them and then start doing some fire orders here. Pogo's engaging Frost. To... I don't know anymore. I don't know what happened to my little diamond, but... Oh, well did that. Now I'm just grouping these guys up. We're trying to set up a little bit of an impromptu defense along that tree line in case they come up it. And more of my mortars coming up. Oh, looks like they shot him. Fuck. Back 
I have to get a better placement here with a frickin' spotter and probably uh, put him down somewhere manually. So yeah, he got shot to shit, so I'll kill him off. We have Murky down here, looks like he's disconnecting, but yeah, quite a few casualties happened. They're back here. Chopper's landing. Sniper Wolf is, uh... Let's see, taking two people. Teacher and Killa need to get in, because otherwise Sniper Wolf is going to take off. Otherwise, looks like Habardicus has eyes on that squad. Oh, screw it. Killa just got kicked out. So I just heard a dagger rocket probably hit those trench positions, but those trenches can tank anything. Alright, do I can I get eyes on from this guy? If I were to look. My own two eyes, there they are. I'm gonna keep trying to call in mortars on him to uh Convince them they should keep moving. Put it around them. So looks like Frost is regrouped with the other groups. Pogo is pulling his APC back, and this group's coming in. So looks like they got a strike right on the back of that bunker. I still got these two guys down. And they just snipe my gunner right there. Yeah, so every time they hear the mortar, they're going to be looking for a new spotter. Hmm. Makes it difficult. Speaking of difficult, are my BTRs here yet? Infantry, you okay from those mortars? Keep them. Be okay. Solid. Don't slow your pace, infantry. Continue pushing. Uh, I would recommend you set up a holding team to the east side of Objective 1 because you will be hit by reinforcements coming from that area. Basically, little nano waypoints here. See if I can throw some more shit at him. But for now, I guess my mortars are going to be playing a bit more of a defensive role. Have my other BMD on standby. It looks like she's taking a bit of damage. But she's got a pretty big kill zone back here as well. Hmm. Oh, these guys are within viewership range. Did no one have an AT weapon in this squad? Are you kidding me? We're gonna call for one here. Straight toward two. Saying, hey, we have a frickin' enemy vehicle over here. We need someone to come deal with it. Alright, so four-man infantry team coming down. Looks like they hit one of them. So I'll copy on that, Alpha. Uh, good luck. Take your engagement. Hey, still civs uh, running around this open AO. Uh, ground to be set for contact. Guys coming in from you. So I'm running that AT team in. 
I hear those reinforcements, but my uh, APC weapon's down. Um, this is armor. Be advised that the uh, enemy are entrenched within the forest. They're using the uh, ace trenches. Now, for the future... Gonna add these to my interface so I can copy and paste them uh, need be. <coughs> Ground forces from Eric be advised. Who's ever pushing on OBJ1? You have uh, fucking infantry contacts amongst that rubble. I'll copy. God, these BTRs suck. This is why I didn't want to. Uh, this. <laughs> People told me they wanted armor. I'm like, yeah, okay, but it's not going to work in the way you want. They're taking GMG fire. They're trying to pull back. Have these guys come over. That APC is pulling back. Ah, uh, come on, Mr. Mouse. So I mean he just does not want to go. Just gonna have to inch these idiots along. How hard is it to cut through a damn forest? All right, I'm, I'm done fucking around with him. Just not gonna use the frickin' BTRs if they're not gonna work effectively. What happened to my two-man AT team? They're cutting around, those guys were engaged. All right. Definitely limited on my resources here. Let's see. I'm just gonna stick with infantry. Two groups of infantry come in. See if I can go commit severance on that damn APC. I could see it's gone. Fra Why would you shoot at them, Frank? Like, you know we're trying to hunt an APC here. And now I'm dead because of Frank's stupidity. Ah. Fucking hell. Four infantry are reinserting. Uh, their grounds to get mortared, though, because they've uh, basically been sitting there for a few minutes. Oh, they AGM my mortar position. Marvelous. So I'll have my BMD. Uh, Alpha, if you haven't figured it out thus far, uh, the, all of the enemies are to your east, so uh, keep your guns up uh, and keep your wits about. Uh, Might start away. pulling out infantry as well. Let's see, uh, it's 5.05. We've been in combat for about 30 to 45 minutes. Let's say in 30 minutes, the officer is probably going to start pulling out of the AO. I still have these guys along. I'm trying to think.
What else would I have to send? Probably two more infantry teams, and that's it from my pool. So that is all I'm going to work with, and then once those are taken out, I'll probably start considering fallback orders. Air, don't know if you guys can, Air, don't know if you guys can hear me. Be advised, infantry is currently hung up at White Smoke, engaging a lot of entrenched infantry in the woodland. So I'm going to pull these guys back. They just took out my other BMD. Hmm. Definitely making my job difficult. Alright, these guys would have all fucking ran off and drove away by now. These guys are down. I think they just fired at a dead body. This is High Command Send Traffic. Last one here for uh, uh, RTB for uh, refuel and rearm. Can we get that from you once we get this in both? Roger, I'd prefer you use the trucks out. Simply put, what's that's basically keying things in? Oh, my AA piece was already hit right there. At least the goats are all dead, actually. Yay. Lovely. Just lovely. All right. This is probably going to be the fallback point. But I'm going to tone all my guys to come around here. All forces I'm gonna have start forming up around here actually. Who gives a shit about the Socor? Because I am out of assets essentially. And these four fudge heads as well. Oh, we did have a strike on this compound. Hmm. Alright. These guys are pro and I'm gonna get up instead. Why'd you idiots move to walking? You're letting the other squad of infantry catch up on you. Fucking idiots. Alright, so everything's pulling back. Once I've got a decent sized group, I will probably push up to here and then push back to here. Try to get a chopper to come in, land, pick up the HVT, and pull out of the AO. I think that should be good. I think we're officially in emergency territory. K Pierce needs a TP to C spans. Alright. He did leak out. So where's C spans? I'm hearing more missile strikes. There he is. So this would be K Pierce. There he is. So I'm just hearing a lot of random ordnance land in the AO. I can't specifically tell where is it going and why. There's some GMG shells landing and these guys quite honestly are probably just running for their lives. One of them is going to be able to make it out. I'm hearing a lot of strikes landing. I just don't know where they're going. Bro, now is... 
Now is not the time to be disobeying orders, bro. Hey, uh, the ground to Alpha? It's Alpha, it's in traffic. Uh, can you divert Red Team South uh, to reinforce armor position? Uh, there's a uh, mark on the map called Contact. I want you go. I want your boys to go down there and clear that out. Red Team to go down there. Where's that marker? It's down there. That's where Pogo called Contact. All right. Dude, you... <laughs> He's such an idiot. Get over here, you should be ignoring everything. Fucking retard. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Are you stuck on a bush? I swear to God, the AI, they get dumber and dumber. Uh, ground to... What the fuck?! Ground command, ground force, be advised, and close to battle on your position, now copy. Understood. Ground to... This off us in traffic. Do you have eyes on an open top UAZ at that compound? Uh, air has reported that it, that is, that is, was its last known location. Can you... We're gonna start pulling all the infantry back. Say again, Alpha. All right, so he knows that we're basically. Daggers are landing and they're striking at random positions. So you say again, your last off. So I'm gonna order my guys to scatter. I'm going to send everything out here. I didn't hear anything from that JTAC, so. Squad size, element, most are uh, damaged. Still got a few up. Ah, fuck it. Trying to get this idiot to go over. He doesn't appear to want to. Still have my ground infantry up here. Pulling out, I'm gonna have these guys come over to cover his retreat. This four man team, I'm also going to have come over here. It's off us in traffic. New stream donation page? Oh, sure uh, I don't okay. know what the fuck she did. I hope she didn't if do no, anything. And so there was a negative confirmation on that open top area. It's not pathfinding on this map, it's, it's just AI it's pathfinding it's in general. Yeah, air from ground. Looks like that open top UAZ fucking ran off. Not surprised. I'm gonna try to have these guys come over. Yeah, hey Dracoy, sorry, it's just there's a lot I have to cover in this AO because things are going crazy. So now that he's out, he should be able to drive off. Any chance of a minefield in the forest? I didn't have anything to go with, so... I don't think so. 
Like, just how this AO's played out. I've got that guy ready to go. I've got this infantry screen to cover him. And I got these massive amounts of reinforcements coming in to cover his escape. So, Devincer is captive right now. And they're popping GMG. I... Some of the stuff I'm seeing, man, I don't get it. BMD finally got pissed off. You're not using the strange donation page? What happened to the donation page? Alright, don't use that. That's a really old one from Stream Tip from like forever ago. Solid I don't know why that one's showing. Send in your red team to go there as well. That's that's the next objective is to push that infantry marker. Yeah, it's the Stream Labs one, not the Stream Tip one. But hey, Broadshore, what's up? That needs to be updated. Damn, that's been. I think we've been using a separate command, that's why. But anyway, these infantry are starting to pull in. Skelly is pulling rear security. He pops that guy's face. But yeah, there's a lot of guys coming in to cover this AO. As this HVT literally retreats. And they just got word that that position was struck as well. Okay. We're going to rally another squad. We're going to form up in a large group, and we're just going to move out of the AO itself. So I'm going to grab these eight as well. We're all going to meet up right here, and we're just going to pull out from the AO on foot and hope for the best. I got more guys coming around. Six. Now. We have a lot of guys going down. The Bearded Lord, six months in a row. Took a term off from school, so internet spotty, but you'll try to come in and catch one you can? That's fine, man. That's... Money bags, no. No. She fucking added a bunch of sounds, and I'm allowed to take them off after this stream. We're not fucking playing this game, but Bearded, appreciate it, man. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. I was enjoying myself, Tootie. Stop fucking around. That the April Fool stuff should be done. It's not even April 1st anymore. RPG goes over, almost hits Pogo, but the rocket goes over and possibly lands at one of these guys. So I think that was a shoulder fire or uh, this guy right here. Pogo is out of position. Looks like he is now returning fire on the northern side. Did she also do... I think she did a big one, but I really don't want that to happen. Don't. Do not save your donation. <laughs> just just save the donation. I don't want to play weird sounds. So yeah, GMGs are being fired. I'm gonna be a brave boy. Right on the gun! <laughs> the best spot to cripple them right on their frickin' infantry turret! <laughs> nice! Marking it on the map now at around the location of COH6VAA. One more thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this thing. Move it out. Here we go. I don't want to encourage anyone. It's just uh, who puts porn sounds over someone's donation? All right, that made me jump. I will admit that that made me literally slip my hand left and hit my F key. 
because I saw that last second. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a good AGM. I don't know who did that, but that was very well done. That had to have been an AGM because uh, 136 will have just uh, decrewed it. Some of these idiots are set to walking. Some of them should be set to sprinting here. Hey, uh, Ground to Alpha, do you know what that, uh, the, the cook-off is going off right now? Uh, check in, went down. So the cook-off is that BMD that we just hit. Or BMP, excuse me. This Alpha has to be advised. I'll my guys to destroy enemy BMP and they need to cook-off. Thank you for letting us know after I've asked you. Uh, continue trying to pull your forces south. If that means you need to disengage, then do it. Alright, we'll these guys are taking too long. I'm gonna uh, send gonna them go in instead. Alright, so I'm gonna tie the officer to one of the squads. And we're just going to pull out of the AO. Okay, money bags. I I appreciate that. <laughs> Please stop. Wait, this is uh, 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 <laughs> love you, money bags. Uh, so I uh, dragon. The pony mod is literally erased from the internet. I cannot find that. We're doing a starship trooper op tomorrow, uh, which would have been the pony op. I would have made the play race ponies as well for that, but. Like I said, it's literally gone. Um, all my local copies are gone. All of my friends' oh. local copies Go have disappeared. Go ahead and clear fire on target. So who the heck knows? Okay, y'all idiots need to, like, run. Like, we're going to go over to this airport and catch a chopper, or catch a plane. Your infantry, how is this hard to process? So they got that turret repaired. Guys, run. You're not running. This is really confusing me. I have to waypoint you because you're not smart enough to figure that out yourself? Okay. So there's little AA, AI brains that can't figure out basic pathfinding. They gotta be... Ground forces are danger, Ground forces are danger close, so we're gonna fucking just have them move in and demo the objective at the sun. Uh, so, ground to alpha? Same. Traffic. So that guy got killed. Otherwise, they are in this compound. They're looking around. They're trying to uh, break things in. Moneybag says he watched it. He gave it a nine out. Oh God! Did you count? Did you count my last? Take it if you're cutting off. Ay ay ay. Solid. I want you to take your guys south towards the props scorcher marker at zero uh, zero eight seven uh, zero or not zero eight seven three seven seven. Uh, and make sure that that objective gets demoed. Air has just hit it, but I want to make sure infantry moves in to demo it. Alright, can you help? Hey, fam. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? I'm gonna try to run away. Deja vu, I've just been in this space before Higher on the street and I know it's my time to go Au revoir, and the search is a mystery Spending on my feet and I know it's my time to believe Whoa, deja vu, <laughs> I've just been in this time Ah, oh, fuck a duck, they're trying to kill me Ah <laughs> uh. <laughs> They just tried dunking two missiles on me. Oh god. No, now they're going for the cannon. Not the cannon. 
Please, I have too much to live for. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Just trying to evade damn air. Stick to the trees. I swear I just wanted to sell this thing on the black market. Whoa! Gotta be fatter than that. I'm too I'm you're too slow. Too fast for ya. Too fast for your pathetic AGMs. Come on, air. You can do better than that. This is me right now. I'm just barreling through. Ah! I have no idea where I'm going to drive this thing. Oh, I made it to... Uh... How'd I make it here? <laughs> they want me dead. Maybe we're safe now? I have no idea. <laughs> Damn! I made it all the way to the fucking corner objective. Where was air? Oh, they retasked uh, to the frickin' other side, so that should be AGM'd in a moment. Ясно приступаем. Ясно приступаем. I want to see if I can get away with this, though. Try to, like, bring it into here or something and hide it in the dome. I, I don't know. Let's just... Just go for it. Oh, well. They still missed. There they go. That one was a direct hit. I'll give it to him. That blows up the house. <laughs> nice. This is after the bomb BFIs. Uh, we got some wounded at the compound. We'll try to recover one now. Uh, solid. Uh, double time as best you can. We're gonna have mortars coming in. If, uh, how long can you give me an ETA? An estimated ETA? About five minutes. I'll tell the, I'll tell the medic to load the window into the, uh, IFV. No, uh, how long without loading your board? Uh -oh. How long until you're, until you're ready to move? Five minutes. How many are injured? Does anyone have an AA stick? An Igla? I don't think any of these guys do. Nope. Because they would definitely be able to see that chopper right there. So I think they're just going to stick to avoidance. Because the officer is leading the charge. Okay. 
But they're okay. right uh, under uh, the chopper's nose. Up, whatever, whatever you're injured, boys, get him into the IFV on the north side of the compound. He's coming in now. Clear out of his... Uh, if you're not crippled... But I yeah, see, so one of them did take one of the igloos. This is pitiful. All of you guys sitting in the middle of the fucking compound. This is pitiful. All you guys sit in the middle of the compound. Jesus. Uh, but I'm going to now ungarrison all remaining AI. And set everyone... To just start running away. Run for the hills. Oh, that's not good. Yep, so he's firing down there. Alpha, are you loading your... No, do not fire at the... Hold your goddamn fire and run. This is called being sneaky. You fucking retards. Alright, so they're pulling out. Alright, what about these guys? Uh, we're gonna hold those hostages for now, because they weren't PID'd. Then I'm gonna have these guys pull to the north over here. Yeah, this is as I try to pull everyone out of this AO. And they're still holding the central compound. We had goats in the AO. They were all killed by air. It was very sad. Where's their current... So yeah, that Sokor is down. See, I want to fire an RPG to see if I could dunk him. I know one of them's thinking, what if I like go right under and dunk him with an RPG? You know what, Dimitri, if you think you can... See if you can get under it and hit it with RPG. But if you do not hit it with RPG... I will be disappointed. This is on this top of the ground, be advised to move it out. Splend Yeah, they're finally moving out. Push south, please. Oh, he only fit one guy in there? Ah, that's annoying. Let's see, they're gonna push south. I assume some of these guys are crippled, yep, so they can only get so far, but any vehicles, as we've seen, get schwacked. Otherwise, I am just sending infantry out. Sniper Wolf's come down, he's uh, checking this compound, I think he sees, or no, it's ambiguous that did, Sniper Wolf stayed in the chopper, but they went down and checked. That Socor is down, but the uh, infantry guy, they've, they're kind of already long gone, they went under the choppers. Uh, ground Command, High Command, talk. This is High Command, send traffic. Uh, the Scorcher is down. Uh, we had a location on the HVT. We got bogged down and he ran off. We don't know if he's still inside the AO. We're searching for his location. Solid. Uh, have the choppers do a wide search pattern for any thermal contact still in the AO. He's probably going to be traveling with a large group of people. Uh, otherwise, it's quite possible he got away. Uh, 
solid copy. Uh, Air, did you copy? Also, ground to Alpha. Uh, check your new map, Black Line. We're gonna follow it. We're gonna push up that hill and go clear the top. Hey, Firm. What about Scorcher? They just said Scorcher. He just said the Scorcher was down, so I don't know what you mean. What about the Socor? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know that the guy, the freaking RPG guy, is gonna probably backblast himself when I try to line up that shot. But if I can do it, ooh, that would be nice. But they're gonna be so salty if I actually hit them. So anyway, I'm going to take care of these hostages here. Gonna try to get him moved out uh, of the AO. So, how we're gonna simply do this is how they're gonna carry them. It's gonna look like regular armor. This guy we can ungroup. But we're going to grab the attach command. And it's like you, how you move a captive. Uh, it gets held in front of you. And then the rest of these guys. We're going to abandon that vehicle. They were placed from Eden Editor. Okay. Now I'm going to have these guys. Ah, oh, the fucking chopper moved. So he's gonna go, ah, drat. Oh well, we're gonna continue to move along. Does anyone have an RPG, or did I copy and paste the uh, Grenda? Yeah, I copy and pasted the... Wait! One of you run back! Because I can hear it. That sounds like a chopper. Dimitri, you know what to do. Uh, advise, I advise them the same thing. I got this, comrades! Sounds like it's to my right. Because I can't right click on it. It's not letting me zoom in for fucking whatever reason. Ground type. High's busy right now. Oh, oh solid. Um is that, uh, uh, shit, I had a question, I honestly. Dimitri, you did it! We can pull out of the AO now! Uh, this is High Command back on net, send traffic. Yeah, see, I honestly did have a question, and then I just watched my Apache die, so I no longer have a question. Roger, your Apache flew right over a AAA position. Yeah, I, I, I told him to do a sweep and they just kind of parked. I don't... <laughs> right over my AAA. <laughs> Dimitri, you good man. I'm gonna quickly replace you. So your guys are going over this way. So you need to go run up and join them, comrade. 
You have earned your place alongside all future Checkity War Heroes. You saved your friends from the great American beast, and for that, you are a true hero. Oh, hail Dimitri. Anyway, officers by LZ Soda, that was marked by the Blue Four Force. Chinook came in. I'm hearing MG fire. Because they're engaging that tower. Otherwise, yeah, this is a seek and destroy okay, in Alpha, vain. I'm priority, priority traffic, Alpha. I need you to double time into armor's position. Get as many boys as you can into armor, and we're, we're going to be pushing. Uh, double time that order now. Get all your guys to sprint to it. Anyone you can uh, those armor, like, Polka and Daka? One times researcher facility, yeah. Confirmed. Armor, I want you to hold position where you are. So I think the they might try to go for the infantry that are, uh, falling back from that armor position. I mean, those are the hostages. That I am trying to have come I out of the AO. I want you guys to double time to the, the marker. Go here at zero, grid reference of 084379. Uh, I need you there now. Go, go, go. They're double the timing it back to 379. That's where the armor is. I'm going to have these guys also start to pull back. <clears throat> these guys are the last group to leave. They just took more contact. Um, I don't know how that worked for you, but it did. Okay. Just in case he's being retarded. These idiots don't know how to move out of a tower, so I'm gonna run them out one at a time, because it's not like I got anything better to do. But every survivor we get is another guy that can help in the future of Checkity operations. Alpha, how long until your boys are in the fucking vehicle? This order was given fucking 35 seconds ago and no one's taken a step towards the fucking vehicle yet. What's up? I'm trying to get into it. Alright, wish me luck. I almost called him Dimitri, but we already had a war hero named Dimitri. Blue team's moving from help with ABC now. Let's go! Yeah, with the one chopper, it it was game over after I was able to, um... Yeah, they blew up the tower. <laughs> they weren't having any more of my shit. But yeah, it was game over after I snuck the uh, thing off of them. Or, uh, you know, snuck that guy around. To be perfectly honest. I'm waiting for everyone else to group up so that we can all get in. We have got a lot of uh, different infantry groups falling back. I'm actually quite surprised with uh, how many guys we're able to pull back, and I really need to get a new goddamn mouse. Uh, I think I'm going to do that tomorrow before I do my streams, because, yeah, my stuck there we go <laughs> i was um told i was being shipped one two weeks ago but i think that was a i think that was a bust shame but otherwise we're gonna delete some bodies here and i'm gonna teleport myself over near their position Here, let's try to listen in to their, uh, their local chatter here. Idea to shoot. Suspend. Get in. Out. 
Okay. Okay. Is the vehicle full? Hey, you're good. She's supposed to be. Give me a pack. I don't give a fuck. Hey, you're exactly. good, Burbust. Get uh, as many people as you can to the APC move. Or I will hold. Oh, okay. Spark is now flying high over the AO with the Kamachi. We'll talk about this in debrief. So it sounds like they airstruck that facility. Yeah, they're firing a lot of missiles at it. <coughs> so I'll blow those up, but yeah, they uh, they pulled out with those hostages. Okay, all the other motherfuckers here, once you're banished from me shooting you, we're going to be moving northeast towards the infantry position. Panthers barreling right away. Alright, fire team, if you heard North that, east. we're moving northeast to the infantry position. It oh. says marked infantry position on map. The commander is running right infantry now, position so we're trying on to map. before he has a chance to get away. That's what's happening. That's why the orders are so fucking messed up. Because we don't know where he is, and we're all we're getting scattered. So they ran off, but yeah, the commander is this one guy right here. Red Beret... He's been running for a while now. He's got his binocs out. He knows how to run. When you uh, take your binocs out, you sprint faster. Which is why he's faster than all these other guys sprinting. But yeah, they have definitely made out of the AO. And then we have some other groups. Some other survivors. Uh, from different parts of the AO that have pulled out. So we got a two-man here. I mean, a lot of check -D were able to make it out of this AO. Not just the commander group. And the hostages, I think, are also going to be able to make it out of here. So, Panther just dismounted these guys. They're moving in. And all these guys, I think, are just unconscious guys at this point. So, I'm going to kill them off so we don't get any confusion. But I think these five might also be able to get out of the AO in time. I'm going to set them to careless at this point. That way they stop lollygagging and instead just book it. Same with the guys with hostages. I also need to make sure they're uh, set to sprint. Because uh, they're probably not going to fire back. when they have a hostage, but, uh, they're getting behind. Ooh, air is now engaging some of those guys with hostages. So the Comanche found them, and they're, oh, that's not gonna be good, because they're gonna end up killing hostages. So infantry should be hot on their tail now. That rocket knocked out two people. Looks like the Panthers also pushing up. The Comanche is pushing up with them. So they might be able to at least rescue the uh, hidden objective of the oh, hostages. That's what it was. Command, high command. This is High Command Send Traffic. Just to confirm, it is a uh, it is a murder kill order on that uh, that HPT. Uh, a firm, if you see someone wearing a red beret, you are cleared to literally paint his blood on the ground. Solid. We will murder kill anyone with a red. I thought he, I thought honestly they spotted that group and I thought, oh wow, are they going to be able to clutch it? But no, it looks like they were just changing firing angles. I thought, I thought they were about to get it back. Hmm. 
Our ground to armor, can you relay for, um, for, uh, JTAC? First of all, I was gonna question that, like, from Thermal or something. Hey, Valk, I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, I've got, um, the mouse I'm gonna get is probably gonna have 12 buttons on the left so I can code all my, um, radio stuff to it. So, primary channel, alternate channel, lawn range, uh, alternate lawn range, that sort of thing. But I just gotta go to a trip on Best Buy and get it. But thanks, man, that's probably gonna cover it. Copy. Solid. I want you to block the, uh, the north exit out of the AO on that road, so get to that road and walk. So we'll see how many dead hostages there are at the end of this. The one north of the T intersection? Uh, solid. If you can get to the T intersection, that'd be... Yeah, yeah the be. Panther's just okay, starting everyone, to come we're up. We're gonna make it to the T intersection on the road and make a roadblock there. So the officer still in charge is going to say, hey, I need you guys to pull south. I don't want you guys risking my position. I'm going to start trying to scatter guys even more. We're going to have the hostages keep going on the same route. Why the heck are you idiots going up the road? Well, they're fucked. Weapons free. One hostage got KIA, the other one is wounded, WIA, the other three are okay. C-SPANS follow, blue line please. Uh, uh, close the distance between my team and yours. Copy. So I'm trying to have these infantry break off. And that guy also got hit, basically they're uh, tracking stragglers. It was my, it was my red, my red tracers. Yeah, we did, we were already taking shots from that area, so let's push that. Hello! I could use a band-aid! How are you doing? There were five of us as hostages. We were doing a little research ex- Okay. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna need a bandage probably because my legs are fucked up. There were five of us. But yeah, anyway, there, there were five of us, and uh. Yeah. Oh man, that guy's uh, fucked up. Uh, C SPAN's adjust your heading. Go straight north now towards uh, the, the D marker. We're we're fight, we're fucking playing hide and seek right now with a single boy, um, so we're gonna make sure we uh, we check all of our corners. Yeah, so they think this is the last group, but I've got guys Talk that have literally left yeah. from every AO. Hot coffee. Looking for a guy with a. I'm just watching the. It's about. Wait, excuse me. Did one of you say something about a guy with a red beret? It's finished. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were listening to their radio net while we were captive. He left hours ago. Hey, Frost. He was one of the first groups yeah. that left the AO when things went to hit the fan. One of the IDAP people saying that they were listening to radio and he left ages ago. 
Uh, be advised, uh, apparently one of the hostages has said that the, uh, leader with the Red Beret has left ages ago. I'm fucking you out, ma'am. He was part of the first group to leave when I guess you guys were causing a fuckus. Um, or a ruckus, excuse my language. Um, but yeah, they called in a massive amount of infantry reinforcements and then just started leaving the AO because, uh, I guess your helicopter just Hold spooked them. Oh, hey, Lawrence, how are you? Hey, Frank. This is High Command on traffic ground. Brown, this is High Command, send traffic. Okay, hi. We got some intel from civilians that, um... We had some, uh, we had some intel from some rescued civilians that, uh... The Red Beret boy has left a while ago, uh, advisor next act. Roger, uh... Start evacuating the civilians back to base then. Uh, how many civilian hostages do you have uh, liberated at this time? Uh, less than 10, I would say. Probably six. Four. All right, uh, load up in choppers, RTB. We'll uh, debrief them on any other intel they might have. And uh, yeah, just uh, start heading home, boys. Uh, solid. Uh, C-SPANs, how copy? Uh, start moving towards the LZ uh, if copy. you do. Yeah, start moving towards the LZ marks on that. Oh man, we get to go home. Grid reference of 103390. Yeah, I know, unfortunately, Paul didn't make it. Hey, Jerome! What? Apparently, Paul didn't make it, he got shot. Oh, that sucks, fam. I guess we'll have to try again next time. Hopefully they won't send us to another operation in the middle of the woods. Yeah, I feel you, Jerome. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to the... Damn, marker snakes. Hey. Uh, hey. C-SPANs, uh, armor's coming to pick you up and I'll carry you to the LZ marker. So you don't have to run. Sorry. Copy. Okay, well, she's gonna come so pick us up to uh, extract. We are LZ. not talking about the south right now, boy. This is... This is warfare. Yeah. Some of us are here to make a difference, and some people just like to go shoot, shoot in the night. Uh, Amen to Albert. The guy, actually, I think I see Albert down there. He got shot. Amen to Albert. Amen to Albert. Yeah, uh, sorry about Albert. Sure, not gonna move again. Hey, can I go with them? Because they're all going that way, and I want to go. But. But you're take. <laughs> Lawrence, Fred, Jerome, and Liru. Good God. Alright, let's go back to Louisiana, get some fried chicken, and pretend this never happened. I agree with you, Jerome. That sounds like a great idea. It's Tyrone, you idiot, not Jerome. Hi boys. There's the Panther they're gonna pull back. Yep. Oh, there they go. Uh, all forces on this net, this is high command. Uh, be advised we are index at this time.
I'm gonna call it mission complete, because two out of the three objectives were succeeded. <clears throat> I just drive in circles. Alright. Cut the music. Go in, put the TFAR channel up. Alright. <clears throat> so it was mission complete because one of the two main objectives and the hidden objective uh, were completed. So two out of three is above 50%. But uh, there was definitely some issues that need to uh, be addressed. So how that AO pulled out was... Um, First off, air started hitting targets within my AO, uh, which caused the commander to start getting unsettled. So we called in for some infantry reinforcements. Uh, we had his uh, MI-24 Super Hind take off to uh, spook where those initial airstrikes were coming on his artillery battery. Um, that caused air to wave off. And then uh, infantry went into the civilian area and then went a little past it. And that was a massive kill zone for a BMD-2 which started engaging you guys. Uh, from there, things were finally reestablished once air regained air superiority, took out the Super Hind, took out the BMD-2, and infantry just started uh, very slowly pushing into that AO as air was striking more and more targets of opportunity uh, to the point, ever, like almost, uh, I want to say about 80 to 85% of my vehicles uh, Mostly transport vics, but a few armed ones were uh, destroyed, so the commander rallied a few guys and uh, left in the first large group uh, as part of an evacuation effort. Uh, overall, uh, three large groups of infantry and I think three small groups of infantry uh, attempted to pull out of the AO and all but one large group was successful. Uh, the one large group being, uh, there was uh, that was the group from the research compound that uh, it was just pulling out as um, the uh, your Apache flew right above them, and I had uh, a Ural with uh, a AAA battery on the back of it, and I couldn't, for whatever reason, uh, actually aim it properly, so I had to eyeball it, and I was still able to hit the Apache because it was right above me, and then we pulled out, but then you guys were able to intercept them and um, get the intel from the civs because uh, they were, they were uh, listening to uh, the network uh, as those guys were receiving orders. And uh, you were able to then you know complete the hidden objective, which uh, was nice to see. And uh, only one of the five civs was killed in a crossfire, which was expected because of how I uh, had the civs moving with the AI, attached them to the front to simulate you know how you'd actually do that with Ace. Um, and you know, yada, 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 the rest of the AO kind of played itself out. Um, what was really funny to see, though, was where your Apache was staying overhead on the right side of the AO, uh, the infantry with the, um, HVT, they literally went right under his nose. And, uh, to the point they were hovering there for so long, I tried to get a guy with an RPG to go under him, but, uh, that's when he was, uh, that's when the Apache then started leaving to, uh, then get shot down by the AAA position. But, uh, yeah, the infantry were just right under that Apache, and I was kind of biting my nails to see if you guys would spook him or, or see him or not. And then um, also the Kamachi, uh, when it tried to get its uh, new firing position after it saw the infantry, that last group of infantry pulling out with the HVTs, they flew within a click of the infantry group with the um, HVT, and then instead they turned around and then chose that as their uh, nesting place to then fire at the last group. So it was very close. It was very, very close for that HVT, for that game of cat and mouse, but uh, everything else was done really well. Um, I had a good time uh, driving that Socor away and a bunch of missiles landing around me. Uh, and then I tried to uh, hide it, if I guess you could call that hiding, behind um, the house uh, at the uh, helipad position. And um, overall, I would just say uh, infantry movement was a little slow at times. Um, there was definitely some confusion over the um, local squad nets uh, for where guys need to be going. We had Frost uh, desert at one point, but he rejoined his group. And um, what else do I have to say? Overall, they still things got done, but once you finally got into the center of the AO, that's when the infantry really started slowing down, and I could hear um, the commander's frustration. 
Uh, shout out to the APC crew. I expected you guys to die first thing, and yet you pulled through the entire AO. Uh, you even took a rocket hit right on your turret. You got that patched up. Uh, you definitely helped in moving the infantry around when you needed to be quick to intercept groups. Uh, and you let, uh, held a very good base of fire for the infantry. And if you were not present, I'm pretty sure the uh, infantry would have had a much tougher time. So that was good. And of course, shout out to all of our flyboys tonight and what's that for JTAC. Uh, a lot of my stuff got schwacked. And um, yeah, overall, I think that was uh, good for everyone's POV. It's just infantry. Um, the, the second half when you kind of faltered, that's when, you know, you needed to be more on par with movement. But uh, yeah, overall, it, it played so out. Poor chase. Yeah, so core trace was great. Uh, let's go down to tier five. Actually, no. Uh, who was ground command for that operation? It was me. Go ahead, pockets. What do you have to say about that up? And then we'll go down to tier fives. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it didn't go as planned. Obviously. Um, the uh, that BMP we thought was a Shilka, and uh, Air said they had killed it or it was disabled. Um, so when we moved into the, the kill valley that was that kill valley, um, I wasn't super worried until it had already murdered you. Uh, and at that point, we dunked on the um, already position up above you to make sure you weren't going to get uh, m 109s but mortar still fell anyway. Um, and uh, it wasn't ideal. Uh, there were some miscommunications with uh, between air. Yes, uh, French toast is sub, right? <laughs> uh, so we weren't uh, we weren't on par with that. Um, and then uh, it was there was a lot of uh, delay with um, the my orders to the squads. Yeah, and I'll say uh, it was so a good game. The way that uh, the command structure is supposed to be set up is that if you're just a rifleman, you just have your 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 uh, inter squad net. If you're this uh, team leader, you have your backpack radio on fifth, and then you have your squad net and your, uh, your your squad net and your command net. So you need to have three radio channels. You only listen in on fifty if your squad leader goes down or if someone is calling for you specifically. So you can just turn down your long range. Um, but basically, I it was. It was hard because I would I would ask KTD a question and it would take me two or three times before I get my, my answer. So I can't really make a decision about tactics because I'm not getting intel back. And uh, the same thing as well, uh, squad leading is uh, if I say something like, you know, uh, air said contacts are coming from your east. Uh, I don't know if you were, but you need to make sure you're uh, parodying that down the line so uh, your mm -hmm. riflemen know what's happening before they get um, but yeah, uh, it went over well, uh, went overall, went well, um, and, uh, good movements by air up until the Apache died. That completely threw me for a loop. Um, other than that, we did pretty good. Was air primarily using AGMs or daggers tonight? Um, the Blackhawk yeah, was we, using we, daggers. We were flipping around between them, but yeah, we were just using daggers to dunk on shit. And I don't know what the Apache was shooting, but probably shot more missiles than they did, to be honest. I would recommend it's that for for the armored targets stick to AGMs, because I watched like four daggers get dunked on the BMD2, and they were just ineffective. Like, you guys detract it, but yeah, I had to keep an infantry in there. BMD2, so. Okay. Yeah. That, that may have been... Uh... Air was uh, the Apache was moving, and I was trying to keep a lot. I was trying to keep the lays on that while I'm moving, and get that taken out. All right. So. Oh, you know what that was? What that was? Uh, we were trying to get a lock on the Mi-24. That's probably why we got we hit yeah. the. Uh, yeah, we were trying to hit the Mi-24. Laser code. No, yeah, we were at the time. Yeah, we changed it, yeah. We changed it later, but yeah, we were just dunking daggers at it, trying to fucking hit it, because we had a laser. Yeah, exactly. We never get it to actually impact. Help. Alright, down the list. Uh, Ambiggy, anything to say? Um, no, honestly, I was uh, kind of uh, tunnel visioned in my drone. Gotcha. So, I Sniper roll? Nope. What's that? Could have been better comms on channel 50, but other than that, not much. I agree. Uh, squad leaders? Uh, uh, from my side, unfortunately, I had technical issues, like actual tech hardware issues on my computer, so I believe that just before everything got interesting. 
Uh, wait, 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 break, break, break. Someone let Andrews a squad lead, knowing that his internet will kick it's him out like every 50 minutes. It wasn't internet. It was hardware issues. I'm average <laughs> internet where I'm right now. That uh, still reinforces case, uh, my point. What I could say is that when I try to talk to KTD, it would occasionally take multiple things to get a response, and also when I say things change, I'm I was just a squad lead, and so I'm waiting for uh, something for someone to say, you know, I should do this, and then. I don't want to uh, take more initiative from KTD because he actually has a, you know, he might have a plan. So I think the only real thing out there is that KTD needs to be a bit more prompt with responding to um, a changing situation. And also, yeah, that's my only real issue I brought up. Alright, KTD, anything? Uh, C spam, you got anything? Fast? Um, yeah. Um, I had the same issues with like talking up a bit. It was sometimes hard to hear. But for one thing, I think you might have to turn up your mic a little bit. What do you mean? And North? also, as helped me out a lot when I was like didn't, couldn't do much because I was focusing on keeping comms up. So as then took up the mantle to direct the squad around. Fast. Uh, just one thing I want to say to my team. If I tell you to do something, you gotta do it. Don't just, like, if I tell you to hold at a position, don't keep going. Because I was trying to get in contact with KTD and see what he was trying to do. Because he gave me an order and then he changed his mind and then didn't say anything after. So, like, I don't see why you guys are trying to give me shit when I'm trying to get KTD to respond. And not following my orders is one of them. Sure. You're not the team leader, he is, so fucking sit down, shut up, and do what he says. If you uh, like to do that, then you can play somewhere else. Okay. Or squad lead yourself, because that's or another guy. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm really team tired leader, of... If they're not listening to you guys, you have full permission to just shoot those motherfuckers. Like, if they're not going to do what you tell them to do, then it sucks for them. Agreed. Pocket, okay. uh, in your command uh, structure... <clears throat> You don't need me. You can just talk to C spam, Foss, and Andrews at themselves. You don't need me to just. You know. Yeah, I agree, and, North. Like, uh, Andrews is always uh, prone to have issues. Uh, He's was, always. Uh, in what specific part? Because I, I, I was issues, trying to so avoid I don't... doing that. I, I pulled it. I did do it at the end because it was we were splitting up. Into I don't a bunch want of him to squad me because I know he's going to crash for something. Mess even worse than they already were. So I was trying to make sure we had one um, uh, one boy on each team that were on 50 so I could call out to them and make sure uh, they could change their heading if they needed to, to search for another. Like, they got enough people to be their own squad. You don't need me to uh, uh, transmit the order to them. You don't need me between the team leader and, uh, and you. Because yeah. our fire teams yeah. were like eight guys each, so. Right. Yeah. They, the, the fire teams did get a little too big uh, for that. that. The, the it's a squad, not a fire the team. Fire team to squad, and then because of their size, we we did most of the stuff. We we tried to be as tolerant as possible. But if, for example, we did our own approach on the town initially, and then we did our own fallback when we started taking fire from the auto cannon and the mortars. But then you know, we, the we still had to wait for instruction to begin to re begin the assault. That was the one that that type of stuff we need the authority to do. Because I'm not going to tell my guys to run across an open field to a tree line to assault a fortification if you, you know, if we don't know it's clear yet. And I don't have a drone, so I'm independent on, you know, KTD, the KTD as my uh, chain of command going up to tell me to begin the assault because you know what's going on. That's yeah. stuff I was like, uh, you know. And that we did work. think that emplacement was clear. Um, Air had uh, I, I had received intelligence that 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 uh, that the armor piece in that entrenchment had been killed, uh, or was at least disabled, which is why I gave the order to clear the open field, because again I, I understand your reluctance to run across an open field uh, is a pure matter of self-preservation, um, but uh, I, we, I thought it was to my be the best of my knowledge it was, so that's why I gave the. Order. I think it only killed like one or two people, so. Again, 
He can only do what he can with the information you guys feed him. It's up to the, the, the squad met the squaddies to pass it up to the team leaders, for the team leaders to pass it up to the squad leader, and the squad mm -hmm. leader can give the information up to the commander. Yeah, that, that's, that's what happened. We literally we, we called it out that there's a vehicle ever watching us. Alright, on that note... <clears throat> taken ba care of, so that's been pushed. Basically, um... Make sure it's cooked off, or make, like, confirm the infantry dismount. Um... Like, if there's supposed to be two or three, make sure two or three get out, because I'm working on methods where if uh, a vehicle gets detracked, the infantry aren't going to leave. I'm uh, working on some scripts to try to keep them in unless there's quote-unquote real critical damage, because, you know, for RHS Vix, if you, like, slightly damage its track what's supposed to be on a defensive emplacement, then, you know, the infantry shouldn't run away, in my opinion, on some stuff, but... Whatever, shit happens. Uh, otherwise, uh, just some notes coming up. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to... It's not a sign-up op, but we have it on the forums. It's just uh, the Tier 1 mod set plus uh, one specific mod. We're going to have a bit of fun with that. And then um, Taviana stuff has been moved to Tuesdays after the Tuesday thing. So that's going to be more in the evening hours from like 7 to 10. And then for Tier 2 operations, we're going to start doing... Um, more of a spec opsy campaign with that uh, wilderness map like Kobevin or something. So I'll be uh, doing some custom work for there. And um, yeah, that's all I got. Um, cool. I, I think, um, you know, that op happened. There were some good things. There were some bad things uh, that we need to work on. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, enjoy the rest of your Monday. And awesome. I hear a lot of people like saying shit about... Friends, don't do that. Just if you're not a commander, or team leader, or officer, don't say shit about the plan. Oh, <clears throat> one more thing. You didn't step up, so yeah. Um, he, he, he stepped up, so he's so he, so he basically what I also don't like is on a personal level. If you would have complained about, for example, KTD commanding, we can help up later. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, just leave. just so yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> um, two things again. Number one. Either step up or shut up. If I keep hearing people complain, I'm going to find a way to just mute you for whatever because I'm getting sick of hearing it. I don't care if you're a medic or use something else as an excuse not to squad lead. You're just being a pussy and I'm going to chastise you for it. Uh, number two... I forgot what number two was. Cool. Sure, boobies. Let's go with that. Uh... I don't know. Uh, that's that's all, I guess. Uh, should write these things down. Uh, yeah. Normally, I don't forget, but uh, whatever, oh. whatever. Thanks for playing, guys. See you around. Have fun. Peace. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Bye. And to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. I'm going to go catch dinner and then stream some Far Cry 5. Otherwise, guys, take care. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Have a blast.